people died for very petty reasons yeah. under the President Moi, Moi yeah. regime. Mm -hmm. And you said something uh, along the lines of Moi looked for an excuse mm. to kill people. Mm. Right? Mm. Does this mean that uh, once someone starts killing people in mm. this context, mm. you get to a place that you want it more? Is it a mental state? Is it a personality? Yeah. You are, you, all these people who steal banks, they started as pickpockets. Uh, Moi, by nature, was paranoid. And Moi liked Unamuita Kando, you tell him. Then, then he calls you. Akuliza, were you on Kimathi Street on uh, Wednesday around such and such a time? Yes. Then you say yes. You say, oh, Kwenda, Kwenda too. Yeah. He, he was paranoid and, and, he, and, and anything little was yes. enough for you to be killed. And that happened. Mm. And during the Moi regime, people were very scared of talking. Yeah. We heard this saying, yeah, walls have ears. Mm. What did that mean? Did you know everything that was happening anywhere? Yeah. You, we, you, you know these things are double. Yes. Because you find you are the officer in charge of a place. Your secretary repo, uh, monitors you. You monitor your secretary. You, are, your you spy message. on each other. You yeah. pro max 20 to Rudy. And then uh, you see the picture of Koigi Wamwere. And then you remember last week you were with Koigi Wamwere. Yes. You see, oh, he's the only to look at an equa street. I can sell You dash to us. Sorry, you have to see me doing it. Kutana, Tony Kutana. So, but life nowadays is good. It's different. Uh, political assassination, you cannot remove it, but it is almost. Even if Hitler came to Kenya today, yes. we, can, we can never go back to that. But now that you mention him, Mesema Koigi wa Mwere ni Dangamanya. Ata umufinye na plaza, he will not tell you anything. Bring 10 injuries. <laughs> he will not say anything. Koigi wa Mwere will tell you what he wants to tell you. So how did you survive? Like being, like, let me say, a black sheep in this context. Mm -hmm. In a world, in a very dangerous world, right? Mm -hmm. In a world that people thrive in secrecy. Mm -hmm. How did you, how are we talking to you now? Like, did you live your life with extra vigilance? Mm -hmm. have, you, uh, have they ever attempted to come at you mm -hmm. for what you say? Yeah. Sergeant Clement, the Maragoli I said was in your house. Yes. One time, along Nyange Street in Webuye, yes. approached me and told me, do you know anything about Uko's death? I told him, 90% of what I know is what I learned from you. That is insurance. That is insurance? Mm. Insurance, why, why, why how, how is it insurance? He can kill you and... No, he, he, if he goes back and writes a statement, that uh, I know something. I've already told him, when they pick me, I'll mention him. So I, that is spy language. That's yeah. how you talk. Yeah. You tell him, mimi ni kifinyu wa nitasema. Yeah, I just said, uh, na, over 90% of what I know, I learned from you. The other 10% uh, I just added from elsewhere. Na your story naishi hapo. <laughs> but then there was another kikuyu called Moses, followed me. I, I left Webuye in 1996, went to Karatina. Yes. So at Karatina Tourist Lodge, uh, Karatina Tourist Lodge, there was Moses who came again to see me and he asked me such questions uh, in the presence of Napoleon Kuguru, a stepbrother to Peter Kuguru. Uh -huh. And I answered things on those. You just give him the impression that uh, if I'm caught, you are next. But then the question now becomes, mm. um, if you know, mm. right, mm. if you know yeah. that, uh, like, yes, you have this information. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm very curious mm. as to, Sawa, you've told him that mm. you know, mm. right? Mm. Uh, are there things that you could have said mm. that would have meant that you would not be sitting here today? Like, let's say, for example, mm. if he approached you, mm. umwambie, mm. yes, I know this and that. Mm. Does that mean that's the end of you? No, what he does, yes. he knows that uh, I get burnt, he gets burnt. So I've given him work to write as many reports as possible to say, by the way, coincidentally, the day Oko died, it was Valentine's Day 1990. Yes. I, I am a father of five and I have only one daughter. 
Okay. So my daughter was born on that very day in Mandela District Hospital. Yeah. So the people, and I wanted to name her Zinzi Mandela. Zinzi Mandela. Yeah. So when, when he went and wrote a report, ah, he was not even in Kenya, he was in Mandela. Not even in Kenya? Yeah, he was in Mandela. And when you say... You know when in, you're in all this time, you say you are going to Kenya. <laughs> ah, yeah. so w when you say get banned, mm. it means that um, it cannot be random. Yeah. Every elimination has to be planned. Yeah, to be Extremely planned. Extremely meticulous. Extreme, yeah. Uh, you plan. First of all, they look at your character. Kama weni mtu wa kuongea sana? Kama weni mtu wa kuongea sana, there is a way. Kama weni mtu wa kunyamaza, there is a way. For example, Uko had a, had a second wife. Yes. Uh, a hidden wife. So they wanted it to appear as if ukewenza. That is one. And again, Uko, you know Uko was not a luo. Uko okay. was a luo here. Mm -hmm. uh, that is why he never used the name Seda. His mother came with him. So these Seda's kids, you know, if you are not a luo or a luo, you may not understand. Yes. If a boy comes with a mother, usually there is tension. We will kuja kutu a chance. So Uko was a very senior person, and Kindambaja were unhappy that all the luck for the family went to him, and he was an outsider. So that was a narrative. So they, 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 they planned that if they kill him, it say rivalism ya nyumbani. So you have to look into all aspects. So death schools have a creative team. Yeah. People who sit and uh, think of ideas. Mm. Ah, you are you easy. Mm. Can we try this one? As in... Like you like eating mutura? Wana kushikia hapo. Ah, ah. Yule mtu wa mutura na kuja na ambio, yule akikuja kununua ya 20 bob. Wakatu na mchangenyishia ile nini? Weka hii. Hii kika kitu weka kwa, kwa nini ya chumvi. Uh -huh. Eka. Na mtu wa motura, mm. jua liona, mm. kitu ikikufanyikia. Kidai. <laughs> Hakuna loose ends. Let me give you the American system. John F. Kennedy was being killed by Lee Harvey Oshol, isn't it? Yes. Lee Harvey Oshol spent three months study. But there's, there was somebody else who was given a picture of Lee Hush. So once this fellow was... Unamaliza huyu? Tania wakati ya mishikuwa na polisi ya tiana hapo, somebody... So this person was... Why did you kill him? No. I even didn't know that he's the one who killed the president. <laughs> uh, or three weeks I've been told to, to kill this person. Yes, yes, yes. So I've just discovered that he's the one who killed the president. And the person who killed the, John F. Kennedy is the one who's supposed to tell people why he killed John F. Kennedy. Now, yes. there is somebody here who has just killed the person who has the information. So w where does this chain end? Like, the person who killed has been killed. And Just the person who killed the person who killed knows mm. something. Mm. Usually it's one, but ikiendelea sana in a quarter twenty. <laughs> Na ina fagia, fagia, wote baka that chain is, That is why Sergeant Clement was asking me and Constable Moses was asking me if I knew anything. Because also, it reaches a place where the system knows that they we have not eliminated everybody. Can you go and find out others? So this means that that's how the government was able to contain secrets. Yeah. Because at past a certain place, nobody will talk. Mm -hmm. Because that talking is insurance. Yeah. And you also say the type of personality you have, mm -hmm. the type of personality you have determines how you get killed. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, it determines yeah. because I don't take alcohol. If you, so I don't take alcohol. So you cannot say that I was killed in a bar drinking. So uh, if you are a brave person, like mm. let's say if the victim is brave, mm. can they be given a menu or how they can be killed so that they can choose? <laughs> no, no, no. In, in, in terms of, oh, kama vile tunonanga kwa movie wanasema, make it quick. The mm. people who know that their time has come. Ah, misiku yangu. Ah, make it quick. Oh, nini, siju make, it, make it quick usually comes when it is just sudden. They, they decide to nini like Muge. Uh, but in most cases, they take long. They study the person, they study the effect, they do whatever. Arrest kina jobo mino, spread information that uh, because Oko came with his mother, he's not of that bomber, kina mbaja are not happy. Uh, the woman who was staying at uh, golf course, upon Bagadi, uh, maybe her with the Christabella, so, so those things are planned. But when you come to make it quick, is an occasion when 
the, 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 the president just called. Actually, they used to, he used, he more used to even to ring. And I said, Mbona naona hiyo takataka kwa TV. Kwa hindi ya mjaua. Seriously? Mm. So, to be safe was to avoid the news at some point. Because, hey, the president akikuona kwa news, akumbuke, you are around, that's it for you. But a politician can, hear, can hear avoid the news. A politician likes news. <laughs> can you put, we cannot exhaust the stories you have mm. on this show. Yeah. By the way, I've introduced, um, <coughs> I've introduced um, our guest, uh, James Kwatenge, to uh, Kingsley Litali, Moyame Kam Kwasho, and Alan Podcast Network Crime Shield. You can watch some of these stories there. If you watch uh, James Kwatenge's um, YouTube channel, Inaitwa Jitenge, how to talk about because easy stories in bits and bits and bits, bits. Anything you want to know about Kenya's dark history, Ikoa Poyote. Away from that, can you put this information in a book? Yeah. I completed writing a book five years ago. I go to publishers and I say, hey, the publish Mampo and Yayo House. But uh, where I am now is uh, I would request anybody who can assist in any way. There are many ways of assisting. Yes. I, uh, you can... My, my tweet, is yes. it a colleague? Kwatenge James. Yes. We can always assist each other so that... Uh, the main intention of the book is, as I had said before, some of these things we can never go back. But it is always good for the next generation to know how Nyayo House was constructed, the method which was being used, such things. I don't want to visit my maker with the information. Let it be in a book form. If Kenyans can assist me in that way to publish that book, it okay. will be okay. And we've only scratched the surface. Ah, just not even scratching. You have attempted to scratch. Okay. Because uh, we've even talked uh, about Wagala massacre. Um, to date, I'm the only person who has extensively explained what Wagala is, how it happened. Uh, in my book, I've even mentioned who was the... The DC recently was the deputy governor, Vihiga. He was the DC that time. There was the OCPD, uh, Namoso. There, there was the OCS, Maingi. I've, Wagala massacre, 5,000 people killed in one day. Or if you want to understand Wagala massacre, is that 2007... 1,200 Kenyans died over a period of 30 days, 90 days, yes. 2007. All over Kenya, 1,200 people died in 90 days. Wagala, 1984 in February, 5,000 people from the Degodia sub-tribe were shot in one day. You go to Wagala, you'll find all their names are written there, but nobody has talked on how it came about, whatever, but it is in, in one day. In one day, shooting. The book is coming out soon. Now probably you can it's touch called on that. It's yeah. The book is called Ohes on His Excellency's Secret Service. Memos of a former special branch officer. <laughs> I hope it comes out soon, actually. I hope it comes <laughs> out soon. I hope it... And final thing. Mm. What you have seen the police officers who were high-flying during that time. Mm -hmm. Would you consider them successful? Would you consider them happy with their work they do? Are there, is there anyone who came out fine? Is there anyone who celebrates that I'm glad I did this? As in, what's the definition of a successful police officer at the end of service? Uh, the police service now is what we should have had 1963. What we have now? What we have now is what we should have had in 1963. Uh, what we used to have, and that is why I had to have access to so many intelligence things and so many, it's because I was a Form 6. But uh, those were illiterate watchmen with guns. But now we are having a good... Uh, and, and the Chief Inspector Marag, no, not Chief Inspector, Chief Justice yes. Maraga did well, well when he said uh, gazetted officers in Kenya police. I don't know why Kenya prison is not in the National Police Service. It mm -hmm. should be brought in. Yes, yes, so yes. that uh, all those things, and he said that gazetted officers mm -hmm. should migrate among the three, AP, general duties, and Kenya prison. Mm -hmm. They should be merged at gazetted officers, so that you are an OCP. You, you, you cannot take a prison, you cannot jail somebody as the OCPD without going to committee, being the chief 
jailer there to see the person you you arrested how he's going there yeah so the joining of the police service the, the raising of their standard they are now going to have a c is it c plus or c, c minus? minus they are going to have that they are going to join the prisons together with the kenya police with the administration police and uh, we are headed in the right position we are headed uh, and uh, i wish i was young <laughs> i've joined the police force now police service okay yeah you we know, are headed in the right direction.